What's your name, where are you from, and why are you here today? Kara, Charleston, South Carolina. We saw David Byrne last night. Uh, how was that? Unbelievable. No other comment? I mean, it couldn't have been better. It was like a dream. All right, like a dream. So, who did you vote for the last election? Not Donald Trump. Okay, well, there are a couple options other than Donald Trump. So, who, you, you voted for Hillary. And why did you vote for Hillary? Because she wasn't Donald Trump. Because she wasn't Donald Trump. Well, it seems like the Donald Trump we have in office isn't the Donald Trump who was running anyway. But what was it that, uh, that offended you so much uh, about Donald Trump that was better with Hillary Clinton? Just grab him in the pussy. Really? That was it? Yeah, that was a coup de grace. So do you think that the president that we have today is, is fundamentally, morally, ethically, or, or in some other way unfit to be president? All those unfit. Okay, and, and because he would, would suggest he's sexual a, violations? Sex uh, violations, he's a liar, he doesn't get it. He, he's, a, he's a liar, he's invented this whole fake news thing. I mean, he's changing our society completely. So there's, there's no such thing as fake news? No, they're, they're the ones who are doing fake news. Like, it's so crazy. They're calling real news fake news, and they're the ones who are actually started this whole fake news thing. Okay, but you would have supported Hillary Clinton over Donald Trump, despite the fact that her ethical violations in terms of actually having people killed in policy as Secretary of State on an individual basis and as an attorney before she became First Lady of the United States under President Clinton, and for all the ways that she's protected his various sexual abuses, none of that bothered you compared to Donald yeah, Trump's? At least she's fit for the job. At least she knows how to do a big job like that. What makes her fit for the job? Uh, she saw her husband do it. He did a good job other than his violations in the White House. But yeah, I think she's m much more suitable than he. So you don't think her supporting any of Barack Obama's criminal foreign policy or any of that, you know, when you say that she's capable of doing a, a big job, that, that she did it on some major ethical violations that didn't bother you any more than, than Trump's individual violations? No, so, it didn't. So you'd rather see people die in the Middle East, you'd, you'd rather see that kind of destructive foreign policy than see uh, sexual harassment in the United States? I don't do, do, do you see? I, I, yeah, see. Do, do you see the moral equivalency there? That it's like you yeah, know, if, if I don't think that what you're saying about her being responsible for a lot of deaths in the Middle East, I don't think that that's necessarily true. It's not as it's not as a direct, obvious from her that as that is the sexual affronts that Trump has committed. Well, the policy that she supported in the Middle East, specifically in Iraq and Afghanistan, led to the continuation of those conflicts and what we have today in the Middle East with ISIS and the funding of ISIS behind the scenes through the State Department that, that she was a part of as Secretary of State. Well, I'm not allowed to vote in my home state because I'm a felon, and that's one of the fun ways that we get disadvantaged and kept out of the conversation. But I endorsed Gary Johnson as a libertarian candidate because we did have an option who wasn't a sexual abuser, and of course I don't support that, uh, who, who wasn't a, a war criminal, who wasn't someone who covered up for anybody else's sexual advances. Did you consider voting for Gary Johnson in the last election? I didn't know. I don't know who he is. You didn't know? You must be watching the fake news or something if they kept that from you. No, I don't know. I just... I would have voted for Bernie Sanders, but... Well, at least that would have been a step in, in the principal direction, right? Yeah. More, more so than Hillary Clinton? Yeah, I mean, she was a wasted vote. The, the whole thing was not good. Well, well let me try to, let me try to get, get to the heart of this real quick and see if we can see what, the, what, what principles are motivating you in this, right? You don't want to see... You don't want to see... Oh, we're going to make this difficult now. We don't, we don't, but we don't want to see people killed in the Middle East, right? right? We don't want to see people sexually violated. Uh, we don't want to see people stolen from, like in, in Donald Trump's various, you know, business frauds, right? So, it, it, would you say that, that you believe in, in, in a basic, basic concept of ethics, like don't hurt people, don't take their yeah, stuff? definitely. Well, I have some really good news for you. Because if you feel trapped in any way, like reluctantly voting for Hillary, when you'd have rather had Bernie Sanders, and going, holy crap, we got Donald Trump, and that might be even worse that the Libertarian Party is based on this ethical concept that you own yourself and that it's wrong to violate that. It's wrong to use violence against you. It's wrong to steal from you, even if we call it taxation. And if we had a, a consistently principled candidate who wasn't engaging in any of these violations, is that something that you would prefer to a Republican or a Democrat? I suppose so, yes. 
All right, we'll take that as a very good start. I hope we can uh, we simulated some some challenging thought for you today. Thank you so much. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.